Welcome to the new Salston High School Office 365 system. Your username is going to be the same as your normal network username, then with at selstonhigh.org.uk on the end of it. Mrs Slater's would therefore become stslaterd at selstonhigh.org.uk. Mr Duncan's would become stduncana at selstonhigh.org.uk. These accounts are directly linked to our network here, so your password is exactly the same as your current network password. They will always be linked together. Let's go into the system then. So first of all, you go to the normal school website. Down at the left hand side, you go to the link that says Office 365. And in there, you put your normal login, st underwood m at selstonhigh.org.uk in this case. Type in your password. Remember, it's your normal network password. You can tick si keep, see, keep me signed in, and that will keep you signed in all the time. And you're in. There you go. That's the main page. It covers email. It covers your calendar. There's even an online storage area that's called OneDrive. The sites, tasks, and also online versions of your favorite office applications. Let's start off by going into the email. It's just like a standard online email system. There's your main email inbox. The ones that haven't been read are still appear in dark type. You can look at all different sent items, etc. Search particular emails. To create a new email, you click there. When you click there, oh, hang on. Just to show you up on the left, at right hand side, a new email has just arrived at the moment. But let's now compose an email to you put in the person's address. Remember, if you're now sending an email to a member of staff, it will be the same format as that username for your account. So sttaylors at selstonhigh.org.uk will be Mr. Taylor's email address. So you just type that in. You can, of course, go and search through a whole list of all the email addresses of people on the site. Subject, put the subject of the email, type the message, hit send, and off it goes as usual. You can of course add attachments in there. You can put a picture actually in the document. You can add your signature to the bottom of the actual email. Normal folders are there. You can see it in the center items, all the ones that you've actually sent. You can go back to your email box. For ones that you have received, of course you can reply and forward them. And there we go, a standard online email system. What else is part of Office 365? Well, there is the calendar. You can see all the appointments, and we will, of course, be sending you a link to the main school calendar there as well. So all the appointments will appear there. You can have more than one calendar down that right-hand side. There's also OneDrive. As I said, OneDrive is an online storage area. It's like Dropbox. You can just keep your files in there. So they're available whenever you log on to Office 365, whether it's at home, at the airport, or wherever. We've now gone into the online versions of all the apps. So Word Online, if you go into there and just click Create a Blank Document, it creates you a document, and even without having Word installed on your computer, Word is there for you to use. You can either save it to your desktop, or you can save it back to your actual home space. Uh, Excel works in much the same way. Open an Excel document, and there are, is Excel with most of the normal features that Excel would have. PowerPoint, you can create PowerPoints in here that you can automatically carry around with you wherever you are going to make that presentation. So there are all the different apps. There's loads more, including what's called SharePoint, which allows you to share files and share letters. 